boat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the Star Tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. Doug have woken up to start the day. Good morning, guys," said Sug. "Good morning, Sug," said the other Star Tugs. They were ready to start their day. As well, hmm. What are we going to do today?" said Sunshine. "I don't know," said Ten Cents. "Um." Guys, am I the only one to say that? Where's Zebedee? I don't know where he is. He's returning from the mainland, dummy," said Zorn. He takes the uh, midnight goods to the to Barrow Harbor. Remember? Well, he should be here by now. I'm going mad waiting for him. Oh yeah. Ever that not bad enough? Said Theroge's uncle. Uh, I heard there's a storm, co- oh, some heavy wind. So everyone, hold on to your hats. You don't want them to see your hair, now do you? What's so bad about your hat coming off? Said Ariel. Oh, you don't want to know, Ariel. When your hat comes off, your hair will be all stinging. And anything that stuck to you like a little leaf, it's stuck there. Not to mention it's painful to get out. Woo wee! Back at up river, I had f- f- few old mates who went for the treatment. I see. Then Zebedee was heading back to Startug Pier. When he was coming, one blew of his steam, and something bad just happened. Zog's hat came completely off. Ah! <laughs> <gasps> Is that? It can't be. There was Zug, but Zug was missing his hat, and his hat, and where his hat was full of red hair, otherwise known as ginger hair. Zug looked embarrassed. Then Zorn started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Zog did not find any part of the conversation. What's so funny? He said. Zorin stopped laughing. I didn't know you have red hair. Zog, I thought you were were bald. <laughs> I guess we're all wrong about you, man. You learn something every day now, don't you, boys? Mm-hmm, yeah, that's true. Just because I look like an like an old man, just because I. Have wrinkles that all just like sneak me an old man. I'm literally a young tugboat. I'm literally twenty, a teenager, in fact. Well, it is not a surprise. I mean, we we're all expecting something to happen. Unicky spoke kindly to Zug. It's okay, Zug. I like your red hair. After all, I think it looks unique looking. Then Zip said something nice. Hey, don't worry about me, mate. I have red hair too, just under me hat. This made Zug smile. Thanks, guys. I knew I could always rely on you. But he wasn't nice about to Zebedee. Zebedee, you made me lose my hat. Now, now you have to buy me a new one. What? Wh- why? Why do I have to buy you a new one? Because you made me lose my old one. And if you don't get it, I'm gonna tell Captain Star. Captain Star! And out stepped. Me, Captain Star. Ahoy there, shipmates. Ah, Zug, what is it? Zebedee made me lose my old hat. 
on pur- No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Liar. Liar. Barge on fire. I had enough. All right, fleet. Stow it. <sighs> Zebedee, go get Sug's... Get Sug a new hat. Zebedee didn't like to be told what to do, but he decided to do it since he was pretty much outnumbered. Okay, Zug, how much do your new hat cost you? Five pounds? Ten pounds? Um, more like a hundred pounds. What? A hundred pounds for a stupid hat? I'm not paying for that much money. Well, it is Gucci. And it looks exactly like my old hat. So, if you want to get that for me, get a job! What? What? Which harbour team are hiring? I know, let's watch the news. The Tugs had the TV that was fitted to the wall, so they watched the TV. Alright, here we have the meat! Oh, oh, sorry, um, hi there. Welcome to Burke and Blair, the founders of Burger... No, I mean, McDouglas. And if you... One food to survive. Head on there and get some McDouglas. Also, we're hiring, so if you want a job, you can have it. So, hope to see you there, real s- McDouglas? What kind of rip-off restaurants? Ooh, that's a good restaurant. Go there. 70? <sighs> Fine. I'll be back in an hour. Ah, welcome. 70? Seventy to your new job role. I'm Mr. Burke, and this is my partner, Mr. Blair. Yes, Mr. Burke. So how is this better than McDouglas, if I may ask? Ah, so that's an awesome question. You see, the ingredients how to make this is that we go to McDonald's and we buy all their food, so we resell it. And make it a dollar extra. It's genius, right? I feel like that's a crime over here. Alright, so this is the rules. You cannot tell the cops what we're doing. If so, they'll shut us down for good. Understand? Yeah, I guess. Good. Now, your, your job is to drive through and hand over the food to the customers. So, if you see anybody that wants food, you're going to give it to him, okay? Brilliant. I don't know how come you come up with these schemes, but let's get to work. Okay, I'm going to do the work. Hello there. Welcome to McDouglas. How may I help you? Wait, Zach, is that you? Oh, hey, Zebedee. I came to visit you. Plus, I just watched some burgers. Ah, oh, very good. Well... What do you got? We just have everything what McDonald's has except for a dollar extra. I mean, a pound. What? That's a rip-off. That's too evil. Too evil for even me to handle. I'm going to McDonald's. Yes, yes. Smart tugboat. I'll see you home. See ya. Alright, I'm here. Ooh, ooh. What did he order? What did he order? Is, uh, is it a warrior? Because I hope... Because I got some that's cool. Okay, what's a warrior? You know your friend Warrior, right? Yeah. And the burger's called Big Macs. Well, we just renamed them into Raw Warriors so we don't get caught. Okay. So, how much did he sell? Nothing. He didn't offer. What? Why? Because I told that we're selling everything what McDonald's has except a dollar extra. What, what, why would you tell him that? Well, I didn't tell that we were stealing from McDonald's. Good. Because if you did... We got two copyright strikes from McDouglas, so we could not, I mean McDonald's, so we could not get caught again. So, we're going to give you a second chance, but if you blew it, you're fired, okay? Yeah, I guess. Great, now try again. Alright then, here we go. Welcome to McDonald's. Dang it! Uh, hello there, Zebedee, my dear. Ah, Hercules, what do you like? I'll have, uh... Two warriors, please. Okay. How much? Wait, I made the rules. So your option, you'll have three pounds. Now that's a good deal. 
I'll take it. Okay, thank you, sir. All right, he accepted it. He accepted it? Yup. Huh. What a jump. Oh, let's go to it's, uh, give him two, two, two for ten, the price one. Are you sure that's going too far? No, no, it's cool. It's cool, buddy. We can do it. Okay, then. Okay, sir. Hercules, um, I'm very sorry, but the price is now ten pounds for two. What? Ten pounds for two? But why? <sighs> Look, I'm very sorry, but the new the a new TV is coming out, and all the pre-orders are sold out. Oh, well, that's understandable. All right, thanks, sir. He accepted it. Really? What a chump! <laughs> Let's just milk him. This more. How about three for ten? No, wait, we'll sell this money. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Three, to, three for twenty. That'll be amazing. Let's skin. Okay, then. So, I... Okay. You'll have... It's three for... Twenty. What? What? Three for twenty? I don't even want... I know you don't, but the new... A uh, new video game console's coming out too, and all the pre orders are sold out. Alright, that's understandable. I'm um, take three. Thank you, sir. He accepted that! He accepted it! <laughs> what a chub! Right, Mr. Blur? Right, Mr. Blur. Okay, I know. Let's steal his credit. Let's tell stake his card. Alright, I'll do it. Alright, sir, I got a brand new offer for you. I just won my food. What if I told you that you could get all three burgers for a penny? Really? How's that possible? All I need is your credit card, and uh, that's it. Hmm, it seems kind of fishy. Uh, nah! Okay, then. Here you go. Yes. Thank you, sir. All right, I got it. I got it. Zebedee, you're fired. Wait, what? Why? We that was a test. So if you could steal, and and you fail stealing, but you two told me to give it to your give it to him, and I know you could not do it. Stealing is wrong because we don't hire criminals. We may steal food and copyright from McDonald's, but we never steal from our customers. Sebity was very angry. The whole thing you're doing is a crime! We know! What? What? You can keep the store! <sighs> uh, where's my food? I can't believe it. Bucket Blair! <sighs> I'm gonna get back at them! And I know, just want to. Excuse me, officer! Help! My credit card's been stolen! Don't worry, I'll go get it! Thank you, sir! <laughs> Nee, 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 nee. Broken Blair are going to get it. Ooh, ooh. I think we made a, a good deal, Mr. Burke. I think you're right, Mr. Blair. Oi, you two. Fr what? What's going on? Broken Blair, you're under arrest. Ah, uh, when Zebedee coming with my car, my new hat. There you go, Zug. Your new hat. Wow. Thank you, Zebedee. Where did you, did you get a job? Yep. I got a job, but I got fired. But don't worry. I, I turned my bosses in, into the police. Oh, that's cool. Well, let me get the new hat. <coughs> Look, Unikitty, I have a hat again. Well, there's a beautiful hat, Sug. I really like it. Yeah. I don't know. Huh. Yeah. It's very good. Thanks, Zebedee. You're welcome. So I'll work out in the end. Eh? Yeah, but I think I'm missing one thing. Where's my food?